what a beautiful morning it is. And I want to thank God for this beautiful morning. Thank God for the YouTube family. Hope and pray everybody is doing well and God bless everybody. God laid it in my spirit to do this video. It's about almost 2.45 in the morning. And when the Lord say do something, I do it. Not for me to get no glory. But the title that hit me when the Lord spoke to me was, Why Me? But then, why not me? Why me? But then, why not me? And I don't know who this is supposed to be for, but I know it hit me. Because the Lord just said, JT, I need you to speak. I tell y'all on, on here, I don't care what time it is. 2.30 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 5 in the afternoon, afternoon it doesn't matter. So why me? But why not me? Oftentimes, we can get in that situation and we'll say, why do things happen to me? Because it rains on the just as well as the unjust. And somebody might be saying, I changed my life. I don't do the things I used to do no more. Places I used to go, I don't go no more. But why are these things happening to me? Seem like the more I pray, the worse things get. Seem like the more I go to church and serve the Lord, the more people come up against me. Seems like when I make 10 steps forward, I find myself making 30 steps backwards. The more and more I walk for Christ, the tough, the tougher things get for me. Well, that ought to let you know you're doing something right. So when we say, why me? I say, why not me? Because it ain't, it ain't that I've been so good. It ain't even that I've been so bad. But for God to choose us and use us, God uses who he chooses. That's beautiful to me. And no matter how jacked up you are, how jacked up you were, God still uses you. Some people think they can't be used because so many holding down make holding down people make them feel like, well, you got to do this overnight. You got to be saved overnight. God ain't going to use you like you are. You better be careful who you telling that God won't use because it's not up to you to choose who God uses. God can take the most jacked up person. Oh, yes, you better study your Bible. He can, he can make the most jacked up person check you if he need to. Why not me? Ain't none of us walked on no water. Ain't none of us live the sin-free life. None of us. Even when you go back to Job, an upright man who never sinned against God. Why do you think God allowed Satan, now catch what I'm saying, God allowed Satan to do those things to Job? Have you tried my boy Job? And I'm just kind of paraphrasing this. Because Satan was walking where? To and fro. The earth. Roaming the earth. Satan is right beside you. Seems like every chance he get. How strong are you? How strong is your faith? But JT, I'm in church every Sunday. What do that mean? You got people coming up against you on your job, in your own home, and especially at the church. The more and more you get involved with God's business, the more of your friends turn away. Why me? But then why not me? Could I be being punished? Or oh, what's going on with me? So, so to those who are looking at this video, why me? Why not me? God laid this on my heart. I said, Lord, let me be obedient. Let me get up and do that video. Why me? Why not me? Seem like we are living in, nah, it ain't gonna seem like we are living in some trying times. We are living in some evil days. It is raining on the just as well as the unjust. You got more and more people turning against each other, especially in the house of God. Why me? But then, why not me? You are going to be tested. You are being tested. And you can, you can look at it like this. If you haven't went through nothing, then you haven't lived your life. Because you cannot have a testimony without a test. 
And what's sad is that some people don't live to tell the story. So if you're looking at this camera and you live to tell the story, God bless you. Because a lot of people didn't get another chance to tell their story. Somebody just got their brains blowed out yesterday. Somebody dying in the hospital right now. Just the fact of us waking up this morning, hallelujah, to our Lord. Because each day you wake up, you should be getting closer and closer to God. Not further and further away from God. If you call yourself a Christian. If you are not studying this word. You will be lost. So many people are caught up on what. The next person is doing. They caught up on what. They pastor doing that. They done lost focus on their life. I done got so caught up. In following somebody else. That I'm lost. Paul told Timothy. Study to show yourself approved. So why me, boy? Why not me? Why was I the one that got laid off? Why wasn't it that, that old crazy co-worker that kept giving me all the hell? Why is it that I don't have a job no more and they still working now? Mm. Sometimes, people, if you let your frustration get the best of you, you will make a wrong decision. You'll cuss out the wrong person. You know, I was talking to this guy the other day who works at UPS. I think his name was Ron. And he was telling me that how they moved him from the manager posi uh, position all the way down to the lowest he can go. To the lowest he can go. He was ready to quit. He thought about quitting. But he's, he kept on working and he said, I don't know why they moved me down. See, sometimes God will move us around. <laughs> move you away from certain people. Moving you out of the way so he can get you to where you need to get next. And old Ron was being shipped around. Not knowing that he was getting shipped around to be in a higher position. But he hung in there. He kept the faith. Now he is over everybody. See, he was a little manager at first, like an assistant manager, but now he is over everybody with more money. Now, how many people would have just quit? So he only had to deal with this three months, and then he was put up higher than everybody else. What are you saying, JT? Well, when you be faithful over a few things, ain't that what the scripture says? God will make you a ruler over many. If you can be faithful over the little things that you are doing, especially if you are doing your things in the church, but once again, it ain't about how good you are or how, how good you're working. That's why God can use anybody. You got to be careful who you're talking about God can't use because first of all, you are not God. Your ways are not his ways and your thoughts show ain't his thoughts. You wasn't, up, you wasn't an upright person like Job. So why me? Why not me? Why did I lose my house? And then God be also showing you, if you can't give up things for him, excuse me, I don't like to call him him, if you can't give up things for God, you in terrible shape. Just like the rich young ruler, he couldn't give it up. He couldn't give up. He couldn't take up his cross. How many of us right now can't take up our cross and follow the Lord? Not knowing that you really ain't losing nothing. And people be sitting up saying, I wonder why God don't bless me like he blessed sister over there. She making six figures. I'm only making 17000 a year. I'm only making 19000 a year. But why is it that person over there on the left side making fifty, sixty thousand 60000 a year? Why not me? Well, the question is, what are you doing for God? Yeah, everybody want a blessing, but how many people actually are working for their blessing? A lot of people just want to sit back and say, I'm going to be blessed. But when it come down to blessing God, they can't bless God. But they got their hands out. 
Then you get angry at God. Well, God, then you hating on the next person. Hmm. Why me, Lord? Why? Why not you? You always forget these scriptures. Ecclesiastes say there is a time and a season for everything under the heavens. A time and a season. Might not be your season right now. So why get mad at somebody else's season? Might not be your time right now. So why are you getting mad when somebody else is being blessed on God's time? I don't say on our time. Because if God was to bless us on our time, we wouldn't do nothing but mess it up. And when he still blesses us right, we don't do nothing but mess it up half of the time. Because everybody thinks that a blessing is money. Well, not everybody. Let me say that right. But most people think that, well, that's my blessing. Now, your blessing was when you woke up this morning. Somebody wasn't blessed to wake up this morning. Why me, Lord? But then, why not me? Why was my cousin the one that got shot last night? Why was it somebody in my family got shot? It's always rough things happening in my family. Why my family, Lord? Why my husband ain't acting right? Why my wife ain't acting right? Why my children ain't acting right? Why me, Lord? I'm about to lose my mind. Wonder why, a uh, excuse me, not Abraham, but Moses. Wonder why Moses didn't want to lead them people no more. People wasn't acting right. Moses got frustrated. I got to carry this load, Lord. Somebody in their family right now, Lord, why is these burdens on me? The more and more I help people, the more and more they do me wrong. Isn't that the way they did Jesus? See, you got to be willing to suffer, struggle, go through for the Lord. But oh, how he loves when we go through for, for all oh, for, for the Lord. How do, how do the Lord love that? Some of us sitting up just terrible, sorry, greedy, disobedient, ignorant of the word, don't want nothing to do with the Lord. But then we sit around and say, why me? Well, why not you? Jesus said, you call no man good but the Father. So what did that tell you? Recognizing the Father. And we walk around saying, oh, you're a good person. This person good, yeah, in your eyes. But Jesus said, call no man good but the Father. Oh, wonder why did Jesus say that? Because it don't matter how good JT think he is. I ain't all that. It don't matter how good you think you are. You ain't all that. Paul said, don't think highly than yourself than you ought. I believe that was in the book of Romans. Don't think highly of yourself. In other words, you ain't all let yourself. You all right. So why me? Why not me? Why was I locked up? Why was I accused of this? Ah, but when you come out of your storm, that blessing that's sitting there waiting. Matter of fact, when you're in the midst of your storm, that blessing sitting there waiting. I didn't know why I was locked up to reach out to somebody that's now saved. Oh, God will put you in some strange places to minister to somebody. Look what happened to Paul. Paul was beaten up, thrown in the prison. Oh, but what happened with those guards? What happened with that prison? You got to quit being thinking that it's all about us because it's not about us. It's only about the Lord. God bless you.